It is Dukes and Bell. OTAs, yeah, our Falcons getting it in. And we got a chance to talk to one of our favorite dudes, Richie Grant, who's on the line right now on the WaitForward.com hotline. Richie Grant, what's going on, bro? What's up, baby? I'm glad to be back. How y'all doing? Man, we're doing well. Bro, Mm. bro, we're excited about what's been going on. Tell us how you felt about what was going on this offseason. Like, every time you looked up, the Falcons were signing somebody. Calais Campbell, boom, turn around. Onyemata, boom, turn around. I mean, every time, and then you get – you get Jesse Bates in there, you know, in the back half of this defense with you. What were you thinking? Just like you, man. I took the phone. We get a new player. I was just like, God, <laughs> man. Not just playing, man. It was, it was some good additions, man. It's, it's proven true. This our mm-hmm. second day OTAs. It's been good. The energy been good. Everybody vibing together. It's been real good out here, man. I know. Once you get the name tags hanging out, you know who everybody is. It just seems like we're going to be a much better defense, bro. We just thought when we drafted you, you're going to be getting picks up the yin yang. You had ten picks at UCF. I want to see you out there ball hawk. And you think with the new guys in the front and the new pieces we've added, you can get more picks and be a bigger playmaker? Man, everybody got the same mindset right now. We're trying to make plays this year. You know, we're going to try to make it exciting and fun as a group. And you know, in turn, that's going to make you guys happy. So that's what, that's what the goal mm-hmm. is. Richie, what'd you do this offseason, bro? What you been up to? What what are you working on? Tell us what your offseason consisted of. Last game of the season, you're done. What have you been doing since? Sleep. <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean, I've, I've been I've just been working and traveling, man. Just you know, keeping up with the family. Uh had a big family event. Um, first one uh since I've been in the league. So it was good to see all my family members uh, traveling a little bit. Went out to the West Coast, uh, just got away and uh Really started back training, man. Just getting back, getting back in that grind mode. You know, the grind never stops. You got to stay on top of it. So, been been doing a little bit of everything this all season. You think this is a year where I mean, I, I I know you guys. We asked the question in the media about you know, specific goals like the playoffs, but it just seems like after the last two years and the moves have been made, it seems like this year it's it's, it's playoff time. Listen, man. August 11th, we got the Dolphins. That's what my mind is. That's the first preseason game. That's it. He's taking it, yes, game by game, including the preseason. I knew you were going to say that. Come on, Richie. Can't you just say, yeah, man, we're sick and tired of the 7-10, to 10, Bull Black. We're going to the playoffs. It's going to be a good year, man. I'm excited, man. I'm telling you, there's a lot of excitement around the building. Guys ready to work with each other, man. It's, it's real good out here. I let's love talk, it. Let's talk about Coach Nielsen. Um, obviously, we it's lost, good. We lost. you know, a, a great coach who wanted to retire, and there's nothing you can do about it. But Nielsen comes in here. Tell us about his vibe and what he's preaching right now. Yeah, uh, first and foremost, man, thank you to Dean P, man. He, he taught mm. me a lot, you know, and uh, that's, that's, that's a legend in itself. And uh, I was grateful for my time with him. But because Nielsen, man, he just got a fiery in, uh, uh, energy about him. You know what I mean? It's just like, you know, no matter where you see him in the building, on practice field, like even outside of the building, you know, he just got the same type of energy. He's real energetic. Uh, he always bringing – you know, the intensity, the passion, we feel it every day. Uh, we're just trying to go out there and imitate it, you know. So that's a real – it's going to be a real good time playing with him this year. You think we'll be more – I mean, we were aggressive when we when we had to be. I mean, is this going to be a little more more blitz? Do you think we more – or just the down linemen are going to do their job so he won't be blitzing as much because there's just more talent? They brought in a lot of kids this and this all season. I'm pretty sure we all seen that. Right. And we're going to see how everybody – we're going to see how everybody work this, this, this um, upcoming uh, preseason. Come on, Richie. <laughs> Richie's like, well, huh? good. he's locking it down. He's Rich, like, give me any no, game no. plan. Richie's like, no, nah, we ain't blitzing. We ain't doing nothing. You have to wait and see. <laughs> Richie, tell us about QB1, man. Tell us about what the vibe is with Ritter now as considered to be the starter and going into to the training camp and all that's going to happen. Mm, that's probably one of the hungriest dudes in this building, man. That man don't leave the building. He here, man. He, he, he grinding. He trying to get prepared. To lead his team, you know, and uh, we don't we don't think nothing less of it. We know he's gonna come out there and perform because of the work that he's putting in now. Looking a little more comfortable, and I don't know. Like I said, it's an excitement around here, man. We're excited. Well, what, well, well, give us a little bit. What you see? What are you seeing that makes you excited right now? You know me. I'm I'm just I'm I'm with the basics. I feel like that's that's how everybody get into this league, and that's how you stay into this league. Um, you gotta. You got to do the basic, man. You got to put in the, that fundamental work. And I just, I don't know, I get excited seeing a guy every single day just finding something to, to work on his craft, you know. And Ritt is that type of guy. He's in the film room, longer than everybody. He's out there on the field, you know. And, then, you know, we, we talking trash to each other, too, you know, mm. just keeping that energy alive and 
it's real genuine energy. You know, it's nothing for us. And that guy, he just he just hungry right now. So I know what type of player he, he can be. It is over to Grant, guys. Falcon Safety with us here on the WadeFord.com hotline. They got OTAs going down up at the branch. So one thing for sure, B. John Robinson looks like a stud. We got a chance to talk to him when he just got drafted. I mean, what do you what do you think, man? This guy looks like a hell of a playmaker. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I seen his film uh, in college, man. That guy was all over the field, man. I, just, I heard all the talks about him. Um, one thing I do know about him, though, he's a humble dude, and he want to he want to prove it on the field first before he start buying into it. But he definitely, man, that, he, he a talent, though, for sure. All right. Uh, how's, my, how's our man Kyle Pitts look? He, he's looking all right? Yes, sir. Kyle's going to be good. Kyle, Kyle looking good. Yeah. Uh, we just need all of our guys, man, on, on, all the playmakers, including yourself, just to, to be extraordinary, as we know you guys can be. And, and Richie, would you say this is, you know, from a talent standpoint? And, and listen, you're not, you know, disrespecting any of your former teammates, but right. you've been here a couple of years now. You look at the defense, this is the most talent that's been here, right? In a minute. It's, it's, it's bodies everywhere. I'm talking about, man, like, just, just roaming that field out there today, I'm like, hey, man, hey, it's, it's not hard to have energy out here when you got, you know, these guys. I'm telling you, man, it's excitement. I ain't doubting too much, and you ain't getting enough of me. Bro. I'm <laughs> telling you, it's, it's exciting around here. Richie, we keep poking, and you're like, almost, you're right there. Just take, just take the want. next step. It's right. going to be worth it. It's going to be worth it. Man, don't get us excited. You know, hey, listen, <laughs> listen, these Red these red Stallion fans out here are already excited, all right? Don't get us too excited. Yes, sir. All yes, right. sir. <laughs> all right, let me, I'll ask you, no, I'll, try the, I'll try a different tack. You, you seen Mac Hollins around? Is he wearing shoes? <laughs> Hey, that's crazy you say that. That man did not wear shoes. That's a Malaka man. I love that boy. That man did not wear shoes, though. That's crazy. <laughs> he came on our show uh, a couple of weeks back, man, and he was like, I'm always barefoot. And we were like, everywhere? He's like, yeah, I walk downtown barefoot. And we were like, what? Yeah, he, he must be taking a lot of vitamin D. Because <laughs> um, I, I get sick trying to do that for a couple of days, but... Hey, you know, it sounds like a good idea. I ain't ready for it. <laughs> well, obviously no bunions, so he's doing something, right? <laughs> it's uh, Richie Grant with us here from the Falcons. Oh, you're crazy. Hey, man. But, all right, so is there another – I'll try it again. Different attitude this year, same attitude. It's always the same, or is it a little more more, more pep and a step around there than today? A lot of energy, man. <laughs> I, think, I think the attitude – I think the attitude – I think the attitude – I don't, I don't know how you want to take it, but just mm -hmm. improve them, man. Like okay. seven to ten, we know we can be better than that. There you, you know, go. That's just the attitude. There you go. You know, that's the attitude, man. We're trying to outdo it. So, all right, one last thing before we let you go. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we know, you know, we love you, boy. All right, hey, man. Yeah. Uh, t tell us about Arthur Smith. What's he coming in preaching this year? Every year is different, right? Team has changed, players have mm -hmm. changed, but some of you guys have been here, and some of the, you guys are considered building blocks. What is he saying to you guys? Just real work, man. Just leadership and real work. Like we putting in the real hours. You know, we ain't just talking about it. We, we trying not, we trying not to buy into any other any other um preseason. You know, this and that. It, it's just about putting in that real work because at the end of the day, that's what's gonna prove um true when the season comes. We appreciate you, Richie. Man, mm -hmm. thank you so much. Keep working. Keep grinding. We'll see you soon up there, at Fly Branch, bro. Well, definitely. Thank y'all for having me again, man. It's always a good time. You got it. Appreciate it. All right, Richie Grant, safety for our Atlanta Falcons. Seriously, though, guys, Jesse Bates, we don't know if Jeff Okuda can play or not. Mike and I just being real with you. He came mm -hmm. in. He was coming off this injury. Yeah. They traded for him. If he has first-round talent, we know that. That's why he was drafted where he was drafted. But if he can give you something, and A.J. Terrell, the secondary should be a strength. It should not be a weakness. Right. And there's, there's a bunch of guys now that we've talked about when you mentioned Bates. and you Now, again, he can win He can win a job and a contract. Guys said, well, how can you afford both Terrell? You know what? That's a great problem to have. If we have to worry about trying to afford Terrell and Akuda, that means he's doing, he's doing the work. Then you heard it from Richie with the linemen, with this more aggressive. I mean, guys, you brought in more talent, more sacks. There's more sacks that came with these new free agents than we had last year on the entire team. So that will help the secondary because how many times have you seen quarterbacks like the game we lost two years ago, Heineke, patting the football, way too much time for the quarterbacks back there. So this is going to be something now where the corners and the safeties will not sit there, Carl. Literally have to chase guys across the field like they're a dog chasing a Frisbee. Yeah, there's more experience too, Mike, with Bud Dupree, Caden mm -hmm. Ellis. I'm talking about guys that pl have played and, and made an impact. Uh, obviously, they re-signed Zoe, Lorenzo Carter. Um I just think when you start talking about filling in the blanks, like Taquan Graham coming over and whether Arnold Epicady uh, is going to be a guy, these are all rotational guys, and you say somebody's going to have an impact. And I think, Mike, here's the other thing, and we hadn't talked about it because, you know, it's just we're not there yet. 
But Eddie Goldman, if Eddie Goldman wants to play, which apparently he does, and he's back, mm-hmm. that's another big body you're throwing in there who, again, with the Bears, he was good. And then we thought we were getting him, and then he retired, and so now he's back. I'm just saying, that may be one of these pieces that we go, man, Goldman's much better than we expected. And I know that it's not a household name, but it's a rotational piece, and I know that for the, the inner workings of defensive line is maybe not what you're watching on Sunday, but this is what the good teams have. Good teams have got seven or eight guys that so they can rotate in there, keep them fresh, and this means that perhaps maybe Lorenzo Carter, we've talked a lot about Lorenzo Carter last year wanting a little bit more from him, and now maybe because he's surrounded by better players. Guys, you got Calais Campbell next to whatever Calais Campbell's got left, I'll take 75% of Calais Campbell along with Grady Jarrett. I think that'll be a winning combination for the other guys on the D-line. Troy Anderson today saying about Calais Campbell, quote, he's one of the biggest humans I've ever seen. (laughs) And he is. And the video is amazing. (laughs) Ah, Yeah, Troy Anderson's not lying. We hope he improves too. More on the Falcons coming up, guys. OTAs, as he said, uh, Richie was day two. Energy's Mm. good. Things are good. The vibe is good. Okay. Um. I just have to take his word that that means guys are vibing together and things are going to come together. But I hope you guys heard what he said about Ritter. Always in the building. That matters. Especially at his position, Mike. It's not just about, hey, I'm going to show up when practice is here. You got to be the first guy in, last guy out, and you got to know what everybody else is doing. And he says Ritter is grinding, and he right. thinks he's going to have a really good year. And that's what the leadership is about in the NFL, setting the tone. And you've heard the teams that do it. I mean, why do the Eagles do what they did last year? Much, the, much of the success is the leadership that Jalen Hurts. Everybody on that team was talking about on the defensive side, everything what you just talked about in the meeting rooms to the weight room. It matters. I mean, it may sound like a cliche or whatever. It matters. It matters in that team environment. Yeah, and uh, Richie had, what, two picks last year? Yep. One game we won, one game we should have won against the Chargers. That was a game we let off the hook. Chargers did not have a lot of weapons that day. They were throwing backups, and unfortunately, we couldn't score enough points. 2017. Yeah.